June is seniors month and I'm pulling out my hair. Not because of the seniors. I love the seniors. I'm pulling out my hair because it's June and I'm trying to rewrite my entire summer schedule. All is not lost. I'm trying my best. I've managed to book a few concerts and I'm booking summer concerts now. For those of you in southern Ontario that would like to have me in, maybe it would be impromptu. Uh, weather dependent, of course. But uh, yeah, just doing the best I can. Seniors month is very important. It really sharpens the focus on this whole hardship that our residents are facing. Through the month of June, I had about 40 concerts booked. I was really looking forward to spending some time with seniors all across Western Canada and through Ontario. But as it is, I might recover, you know, a handful of shows. Grateful for the little things. With the few shows that I've recovered, I've also gotten a few more subscriptions. Uh, as I'm calling them, subscriptions for my YouTube channel. Not that you need a formal subscription to go on YouTube. It's there, it's available anytime. But I am asking for my venues to support my work. Since my business has been closed, I've been making online content, putting it on my YouTube channel for recreation managers to help you find something to do for your seniors. And with all the conversations that I've had with different managers around, I've come up with a type of subscription. My suggestion is a buck a day, a $30 a month subscription. And the easiest way to do it would be to set up an e-transfer system so there's no expensive checks or envelopes, no mailing. Just set it up with your accounting department, talk to your administrator. I could submit an invoice or a year-end or whatever, but you could have your accounting department just set up an automatic email money transfer once a month for say $30, a buck a day, and you can stream to your heart's content. And I will continuously make more and fresh content. I'm particularly excited about these few concerts that I do have booked. I'm intending to record them if the surroundings permit and if it's not pouring rain outside. So yeah, lots of plans for new concerts. And I do still hope to do some real formal productions to rent the theater here in town and do a really good quality, uh, regular monthly programming. But it depends on you. CERB is running out. The government's support for unemployed musicians like myself is running out. I get one more payment and now I'm looking to my retirement home managers to support my work. I've been working for you folks for 10 years. Maybe not you specifically, but generally I've been working for seniors for 10 years. So I'm looking to my venues to help me get through this time. It's going to be a while till there's a vaccine and I'm right on the brink now. Oh, how I love groveling to the internet. A thank you to the new subscribers that I do have. I had two uh, email me just this week, places that I've never been to and hadn't even been in touch with. And so I'm really excited about unknowns finding me and subscribing to my work. Thank you to Regency in Lakefield, just a little town uh, northeast of Peterborough. Thank you to Birchmere in Aurelia. And even today I had a message all the way from Vancouver in, uh, in Granville region, Granville Gardens. And it was really nice to hear from them. The new manager there remembers me from shows in Stouffville and Uxbridge here in Ontario. So I'm spreading out my feelers. I'm going to be doing a massive Canadian networking thing as I try to drum up some business and survive this pandemic. If the pandemic doesn't kill me, the economic downfall just might. I have maybe 10% of the subscribers I need. I'm grateful for that 10%, but I need about 100 at $30 a month. And even at that, I won't be at the level that I was at performing. 320 shows I was to do this year. No, 420 shows, aye. But I'm gonna recover what I can. Fingers crossed that CERB is extended. And once more, I'm looking to you to give me a hand. Jimmy's old time radio show. I appreciate your help. Be well, friends.